All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise and glory unto you. How about Shema, Shah, by Shema, Kako Dash, the bonus of the Apostle and Edel's Great Millstone, Shalom to the Akima, the pushing the word of sincerity and in truth. Yeah, I just want to go into this um, article dealing in regards to Russia and China. You know, more events that's taking place, you know, in the world. China and Russia are, you know, have officially ditched the dollar and moved towards financial alliance, you know. Well, I don't know if it's official if they actually don't have any of the U.S. currency in circulation or if they're actually moving towards the process. But, you know, it goes to show that these major nations, China and Russia, being two top nations on the planet Earth, two uh, powerhouses, you know, they they don't want any associations and dealings with America. Now, starting off with apostles on down. We know these things to be prophecy, man. Scripture says, these shall hate the whore and they shall make her naked and they shall burn her with fire. And it even speaks about the mother that bear you shall be confounded. So a lot of these different nations that, you know, America has had in their back pocket that they could actually use and manipulate through the, through the fiat currency of the um, Federal Reserve uh, notes. These these certain nations are, are beefing themselves up monetarily and they're getting to a certain point. They don't need America anymore. You know, you see these these um, sanctions rolling out uh, with America and Russia and, you know, Russia might be taking a hit. It might be a certain blow that is um, going through. But at the end of the day, these nations are already preparing for these these things to already come to pass, man. That's why Russia hasn't. Uh, uh, you know, retracted from from leaving Ukraine. They didn't see the sanctions of America and say, oh, shit, you know, America's putting sanctions on us. Let us remove ourselves from, you know, Ukraine because, you know, we need economic ties with America. These these countries are no longer giving an F about a flying F about America, man. You know, and this is setting America up for that destruction, man. Like I said, these major nations, these aren't just any little little boy nations, little insignificant nations that's just, you know, around the way. These are certain nations that's the major mover and shakers. You know, when war takes place and these big boy nations like China and Russia, you know, can join themselves at one with their these minor nations, then, you know, they're forced to be reckoned with. So I'm going to uh, jump into this article. It says China and Russia ditch dollar and move toward financial alliance. Russia and China are partnering to re reduce their dependence on the dollar. See, so so they're already getting, you know, their, their layout to, to alleviate that U.S. Uh, currency to be in circulation. A development some experts say could lead to a financial alliance between them. In the first quarter of 2020, the dollar's share of trade between Russia and China fell below 50% for the first time on record, according to recent data from Russia's Central Bank and Federal Customs Service. The greenbacks was used only for only 40% of 46% of settlements between the two countries. At the same time, the euro made up an all-time high of 30% while their national currency is accounted for 24% also in Noha. Yeah, that's why you have certain things like BRICS. You have, what is it, um, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and uh, South South Africa or, or South America, if I'm not mistaken. It might be South Africa, you know, where they actually are, uh, like I said, pushing themselves away from the, you know, the... Whatever that comes with Babylon, the Babylonian wine, man. You know, like I said, they're they're getting themselves prepared. Scriptures tell you that in the book of Joel. You know, it says prepare, prepare war, wake up the mighty man. Matter of fact, I'll get that Joel, the second chapter. You know, because these different nations aren't playing any effing games, man. You know? You know, the military budget is going up. Hell, I was just now even seeing just the other day, big boy uh, Humvees driving through these different streets, man. You know, and they're not they're not finna let up. You know, even America itself too. They know that war is brewing, man. These nations aren't stupid. All right, 
it ain't like that they have to, you know, have to hear the same thing um, over and over and over again before they actually get the point. You know, they they've been they, they have analytic, they have studies, they have uh, intelligence agencies, they have individuals that actually, you know, keep their minds and keep themselves wrapped around what's going to come in the future. And what's showing is America is finna go through a pending doom, man. I want to get that in Joel Bubba uh, Shop. Bear with me here. Um, not that one. Shit, wake up. Cause you know it speaks about waking up those mighty men. You know. You know this, and it also speaks about you know the, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. A lot of these different, you know, these wars going to take place in the Middle East, and that's where the Mosai is going to lead. You know America too, because it tells you that um, you know the least of the flock shall draw uh, draw them out. Who is with the least of the flock? The um, the Jews, man. You know, and I, I can't find it right now, but I'm gonna go through this um, one is uh, Joel the. Let's see what I want precisely. Yeah, fifteen. Blow the trump in Zion, sanctify. Uh, not that one, not that one. Um, uh, uh, verse 20, yeah. But I remove far off from you the northern army and would drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the east sea and his tender part towards the utmost sea. And his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. Yeah, so the war is going to take place and it's going to take place predominantly in the Middle East. And that's where the Lord is going to set this devil up so that he could be destroyed, man. Like I said, these different nations, when they're actually, you know, uh, disassociating themselves from America, that means that they have a, enough military strength. They have enough economic strength all over the board to do their own thing, man. You know, they're starting to see that they don't have to actually depend on America. See, America has pushed out this illusion that all nations need to depend on them in order to sustain you know, this is a drug-induced society. They put that, they have that drug-like mentality, put getting you hooked, you know, and in order to actually sustain, you're going to constantly need your fix. But these different nations, they, they're not drunk off of the the, uh, the wine of America like majority of you people, man. You know, you people drink the cup of that bullshit. Not like I said, these Russians and these other nations, they, they put a lot of their money into one another they put their money into their economy and they understand that america is just a great curse you know nation you know this is joel three and two i will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of jehoshaphat and will plead them there for my people and for my heritage israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land yeah, so all these things are going to be judgments and it's going to be to deliver the elect of, of the nation of Israel. The ones that have been, you know, uh, that had to suffer in this captivity, you know, for righteousness sake. Because, they, you know, we all understand us as a people, we're all suffering. But you have to suffer for the righteousness of Yahweh by Shema Rashah, you know. And like I said, with these different nations winding a little bit back, these different nations are getting prepared, man. You know, they understand the um, volume of... And, and how tense things are in the air, you know, starting off with even apostle. Apostle always speaks about, you know, how close we is. You think these different nations don't know how close we is, you know, and they know that they're going to have to go and fight that war, which is third world's war to the, the war to end all wars. You know, so I didn't want to make this too long. You know, I wanted to actually just touch on that article about Russia and China. You know, as time progresses, these different nations are going to strengthen themselves up, you know, while America gets weaker. You know, and that's going to be one of the most decisive victories, you know, when these nations see that they have the power to take America down and they're going to go for it. All right. Even if they have to let off those thermonuclear missiles, because a lot of people believe that it's not going to happen. It is going to happen because it's written. All right. So I'm going to end it by giving all praise and glory unto you. How about you? 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 How about